Monday morning commute time. And today we're talking about branding. More specifically, branding for SMEs. So I've been asked a question by Sukhvi well on LinkedIn. Uh, how to do a brand on a budget. What are the, most, the key component parts of a brand? So we're gonna try and answer that today. So first things first, a brand isn't anything that you can see or touch. A brand is something that's formed in the minds of your audience. So a brand is everything that you do as a business. But from a visual perspective, the key component parts that form that brand are really housed within the corporate identity of a business. And I think when people ask this sort of question, what do I need to develop a brand? What people are actually asking, and they're not realising they're asking, is what are the things I need to develop a corporate identity? Before we go into too much detail about corporate identity, one thing to have a look at when you've got five minutes later on today is a blog that I'll share in the comments below, which is all about the definition of what's a brand, what's an identity and what's a logo. Because these three things all have a role to play, uh, but they often get confused and, and, and there's blurred lines between what's one and what's the other. So have a read of that because that'll really help you start to get to grips with branding as a concept as a whole. Corporate identity, right. Well, there isn't really a, a sort of magic formula that, you know, you, you tick off a few boxes, bosh, 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 bang, and you've got your corporate identity because every business is different. Uh, typically, a corporate identity on a really, really sort of base level is formed from like, like communication documents. So they'd be like, a corporate letterhead, compliment slip, maybe a continuation sheet, um, business cards, uh, anything that's really going to be seen by your customers, your prospects. Uh, this, these sort of documents really help to shape your identity as a business. The other part of this question was how to do this on a budget. And that's quite tricky to answer. And the reason I say that is because what budget means to different companies can be two different things like a small budget for one company could be a huge budget for a different company so it's really difficult to sort of pinpoint you know what 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 to classify as a budget but i think what i can do is give you a sort of top tips on how to execute an identity well top tip number one know your audience and know where you want to position yourself as a business in your marketplace. If you know your audience and you know where you want to position yourself as a business, you can then start to develop a customer profile. Once you've got that customer profile, it makes it really easy, or not really easy, but a, a lot easier to speak to that type of person on a level that will you know, entice them to engage with your business. And this is the route where your brand starts to develop. Top tip number two, design your identity to fit your audience. You really have got to design this identity right to fit the right type of profile. So once you've developed that profile, this is where you really need to engage with the designer uh, to, to help you develop that, that those visual component parts correctly. Everything hinges on the logo. So it's a really important thing to sort of focus your attention on there with, with, with a professional. Um, you know, who are you talking to? What are you saying? How are you saying it? Um, you know, the visual cues that you give off now uh, are gonna be, that you know, they're gonna talk to a person in a particular way. So you need, to, you need to get that visual looking absolutely spot on. Top tip number three, work on your CVP. A CVP is a customer value proposition. So once you've profiled all of your customers, once you know where you'd like to position your business in the marketplace, you need to then speak with a tone of voice that gives you like, like clarity and, and is you know, nice and direct and to the point. So your CVP will tell people why you're good at what you do and what's in it for them if they work with you. So it's quite an important uh, short sentence, this, and it's always worthwhile to work with a specialist to help you develop this. So working with a marketing consultant uh, would be a great place to start. I'm going to recommend a few in the post um, when this video goes up. So have a look out for that. Um, but it's really, really important that the CVP 
is developed in line with all of your profiles, all of your positioning, and the visual aspects in mind. Top tip number four, once you know your audience, once you know your positioning, once you've designed the key component parts, letterhead, stationery, so on and so forth, and your logo, in line with that, you've got your CVP, so you're speaking with the right tone of voice. Now, you've got to execute that identity whenever and wherever possible. So, think about how you can apply it on corporate clothing, think about signage, vehicle graphics, use that identity wherever and whenever you can because this is the first thing that prospects and clients are going to come into contact with when they reach out to your business, when they discover your business. Top tip number five, make sure every couple of years you review your identity as a business. Do this to make sure that the visual components of your business brand don't get left behind. Every couple of years, a lot, you know, a lot can change in a business. Uh, so you need to sit down with a real critical eye uh, and look at everything about you know, that surrounds the visual aspects of your business, stationery, logo, websites, anything that your brand is on. You need to look at it and be really brutal with it. Look at it and say, does this meet with where we are now and where we're going? Because in that two year period since the last review that first established it, things will change. So there you go. There are my five top tips for getting your identity right. Number one, know your audience and know where you're going to position yourself within your marketplace. Number two, design your identity to fit that profile within your market. Number three is focus on getting your CVP right. Number four is use your identity whenever and wherever possible. Don't be shy about using it. And number five is review your identity every couple of years. So that's uh, the Monday morning commute for week two done. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been of use. And as ever, if there's anything you want more information on, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much. See you next week.